Hello, I'm Dominique Hurley, an intuitive artist and a light worker. Welcome to my studio. I want to introduce you today to one of my new paintings, and I have to say I am in love with it. Uh, this one is hanging over my bed right now, but you can get prints. So uh, let me tell you about it, though. It was very, very exciting painting it. It was a celebration and an honoring of what I spent much of 2016 doing, which was teaching my intuition into action treasure map. It's my five steps to activate your intuition for a happy, healthy life. So this is ask and you shall receive. And each layer of the mandala introduces you to one of the steps. And you'll find more details and close-ups of the different parts in my blog. So you can check uh, below the video if you're looking at this on YouTube to get the link to my blog and also the link to get to order prints. But let me tell you about Ask and You Shall Receive. First, in the middle is step one. It's all about asking. Because of free will, we need to ask for guidance. This is all about intuition. So whether you call that your heart, your higher self, your angel's guide source, the universe, the language doesn't matter. But by consciously asking, you send messages out to the universe. And you can see here several symbols. The hands and prayers are also peace dove. They're emanating from the dove, from the heart, and they're coming back to the heart. They're being heard by the angels. The flame and beneath it here, you can have it symbolizes, yes, the Holy Spirit. It symbolizes also the passion, your inner light, where you're being fueled from, why the questions are being born in your heart. So that's the ask part. In the second ring, you have step two, which is accessing your intuition. Now I, in my course and in my free online tutorial, which you can find on my website as well, I talk about certain tips so that you can access. And everything from, you know, being in your body, centering, creating space in your life, um, trusting, being like that child full of wonder and, and curiosity, knowing that the answers are out there. Because if you have asked, know that the symbolism, the answers through your intuition, through all sorts of different channels are coming through. And in these rainbow colored uh, hexagons around the mandala, I have the different symbols of the different clairs, like your clair sentience, clear feeling, clair uh, scent, which is clear smelling, clear audience, uh, clear hearing, clear audience, the power of symbolism. The eye of Ra, each stroke in the eye of Ra actually represents one element of intuition. So that's sort of the general symbol. You've got clair gustin, sometimes it'll be through your taste buds, that you, you know, memories, uh, clairvoyance, which is my skill my strongest of, of my intuitive skills, the visions I receive, those Disney Pixar visions I receive when I tap into my client's guidance or to my own. And uh, claircognizance is that clear knowing, those downloads, those ideas that come out of nowhere, but they're not coming out of nowhere. So you've got the intuitive skills and the different tips on how to access your intuition. So that's step two, ask, access. Analyze is what I call my step three. Now, this is where your left brain, your analytical brain, joins in with the right brain to work in harmony as a team. And that's why I've got the yin-yang symbols. It's that harmony between the left and right, the masculine and feminine. And it's not only about analyzing the symbols that come in and sort of only being in your left brain. It's about allowing the intuition to come through as in what does the symbolism mean? If a crow flies in front of you and lands on a certain uh, fence post, I was just looking at a movie that uh, had that in it, what does that mean to you? Or a butterfly landing on your nose. It does happen, <laughs> you know? So those are the clear signs, but what does it mean to you? You are the best to interpret the symbolism that comes through for you. And uh, so you've got the puzzle pieces and the question mark. It's all about matching the question and the answers that come in so that when you've got that match, you can sort of see the puzzle coming to shape. Step four is about taking inspired action. It's act. And I've got here the eight areas of your life. It's about moving forward because if you get guidance and you don't act on it, it's useless. So once you've received your intuitive guidance, act on it. Take one little inspired step at a time. It will lead you to the next. 
see how your life moves forward. And I'm talking about all areas here. So I represented some of the areas typically seen by life coaches, like your society, uh, finances and life planning, romance and family, health and wellness, your personal development, your spiritual development, uh, business and career, recreation and fun, and your physical environment, your location. And step five is allowing. Just allowing things to evolve in divine timing. You won't get all your answers right away or you may not see right away why you are guided to take an inspired step. It might show up a week later or even a year or two or 10 years later. It's like, ah, that's why I took that course way back then because it fits in now to what I'm doing. Trust me, my life is proof of all this, which is why I'm teaching it. And so in step five, you've got the design here, which is arrows going in both ways. It is a back and forth system. You don't just go through it in a linear fashion. Once you've gone through the five steps, you can go through it again. When you have a new question, ask again, go back and know that as every day sets and rises, that the big picture, all the pieces of the puzzle will come together for your true life, your authentic life, the path that you are meant to live, that you are designing for yourself, co-created with Source and your health and happiness. So Namaste. Thank you for sharing in this introduction to Ask and You Shall Receive, which will be staying in my room for at least a year, uh, or that's what I think right now. It's like it's with me for a little while but you can get prints of it. So look down uh, for the link to get prints and also uh, for my blog so that you can get more information, take a, a look at all the different pieces in detail. So this was about a 70 hour painting marathon, a session of pure bliss. And I can just feel the energy, I hope you can too, empowering you on your path, empowering me on mine so that I can continue to do what I feel moved to do which is sharing what works for me and the beauty and love I see in the world. Namaste.